I'm Marcin Hoffman from Remedo Labs, and I like to say a few words about energy saving methods in Open Run. To begin with, the energy saving methods can be divided into direct and indirect. Direct methods focus on switching of hardware to save energy during low load hours. There are two main use cases within the direct methods. The first approach is to switch off or put into the sleeping mode the whole base station. In the slide we can see that this can be applied to the heterogeneous network where small cells are being intelligently activated they are activated based on the traffic load. 5G networks are expected to utilize large antenna arrays named Massive MIMO. Although Massive MIMO provides large user throughput improvement, it also requires hardware related to each antenna and as such increase energy consumption. From this perspective, the second direct method of providing energy savings is to intelligently adapt the number of active antennas RF channels to the traffic load. In opposite, the indirect methods are focused on providing energy savings through network management mechanisms in order to utilize hardware more efficiently. Example of such mechanisms is to rearrange user to sell association so as to balance load, what can provide some energy savings from the network perspective. It is the radio resources are utilized more efficiently. Within Remedo Labs, we are currently focused on energy saving in massive MIMO through radio channel reconfiguration. In the slide we can see that traffic load within massive MIMO cell varies over the daytime. It is then reasonable to adapt antenna array configurations so as to provide energy savings while ensuring high quality of service. For example, during busy hours, all RF channels must remain active. However, to serve medium load, only 60% of RF channels are sufficient. Moreover, during low load hours, only 20% of RF channels is enough. One should know that reduction of RF channels is related with different beam shapes and count. In this slide, we can see the information flow diagram between non real time RE, where energy saving algorithm is deployed as ERAP. E2 node and open radio unit. First, ERAP in non real time rig must retrieve the possible massive MIMO array configurations from open radio unit. This is done in a hierarchical manner through O1 interface between SMO and E2 node and open front hole interface between E2 node and open radio unit. Next, the data retrieval must be established between non real time rig and open radio unit. This is done using the same mechanism. The data is used to monitor the power consumption and performance related to the various open radio unit configurations under different cell loads. The captured data are first to used to train the machine learning model and after the training phase for the inference. In the inference phase, ERAP in non real time rig formulates requests to perform RF channel reconfiguration based on the machine learning model output. This request is sent through O1 interface to the E2 node and then transferred through the open frontal interface to the open radio unit. The performance of the machine learning model must be constantly monitored. In case of its degradation, proper actions must be taken, for example retraining of the model. In order to perform RF channel reconfiguration, we propose to utilize the concept of reinforcement learning, where a so-called agent interacts with environment in a cyclic manner. At the beginning of the cycle, the agent recognizes the state, which in our case consists of user throughputs, power consumption, number of users per beam, and current open radio unit configuration. On the basis of the state, the agent takes an action, it is it selects one of possible RF channel configuration. Finally, the agent receives a so-called reward that is related to user throughputs, power consumption, and quality of service metrics. Then, the cycle repeats. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for more.